It's Tuesday. It's Topic Tuesday. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, so that means another Topic Tuesday video. This week's topic is on polishes that make you feel good when you wear them, and I feel like this topic is just so fitting for me because polishes, colors in general, can just really put me in a mood. So I'm gonna talk about the polishes that make me feel really good when I wear them. Some of these are currently available, other ones discontinued, but I mean, I had to include them because they make me feel good. Um, I know I'm missing some as well. Without a doubt, I'm missing some, but I feel like I have a good selection here, so let's get started. The first one comes from Polish for Days, and I think this was actually my first Polish for Days ever. This is Animal Lees. It was a part of the June 2018 Polish pickup. I don't remember what that theme was. I don't remember at all, but this is a purple base with Aurora Shimmer and there's some larger chunky flakies in here and there's also some small um, hollow flakies in here too. This is just so beautiful, so beautiful. It glows under any lighting. I remember waking up one morning and the sun was just peeking through my window. I mean, it had hardly risen at all at that time. So it was just peeking through my window and this was glowing on my nails. It just blew me away. It's, it's beautiful, what can I say? This next one is one you've heard me talk about to death. Go ahead and cover your ears. It comes from Zoya. Go ahead and guess what it is. It's Avril. I don't know what to say. It just makes me feel good. It makes me feel chic. It definitely makes me feel chic and it goes with anything that I'm going to wear. So it doesn't matter if I'm dressing up, dressing down. It just goes with it. And I can wear it during any occasion. Going to a funeral, pull out Avril. Going to a wedding, pull out Avril. Are you, are you getting married? Go ahead. Use Avril. It's good for anything. I love it so much. Coming from Orly, I have Beautifully Bizarre. I actually haven't worn this in quite a while, but it sits in my collection. I do pull out that drawer every so often and this one glows as well. Probably not as much as the Polish for Days polishes because they don't put as much in this but it's still so beautiful. It reminds me of those false nails that brands were coming out with in the drugstore that were like um, iridescent or like mermaid inspired, but in a polished bottle, it is so pretty. It does require three coats. I mean, that depends on your application style and your preferences and whatnot, but definitely recommend it at three coats. I love that shimmer. The shimmer kind of shifts from a blue to green. I mean, seriously, I'll be looking at the bottle and in the same position, I'll see blue and then I'll see green as well. So, I mean, I guess it depends on how you look at it. I love this one though. It's so, so pretty. These next two are polishes that I've also talked about a ton, but I haven't talked about them too much recently, so I'm not going to feel so bad talking about them. The first one is Strawberry Milk. It comes from Sinful Colors. It's just the perfect light, cool tone pink for me. It makes me feel really good when I'm wearing it. This is a color that you can wear on your toes, on your tips as well, and it looks good both ways. It's gonna be difficult to find, I'm sorry, but it does make me feel good. The next one comes from Color Club, and it's Hot 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 Pants. Do you guys remember two years ago when I was obsessed with this? I could not stop wearing it. I could not stop wearing it. It's another color that looks good on your toes as well as your tips and that's not always the case for me. I don't always feel as good about a polish on my toes as I do on my fingernails. I'm not really quite sure why but it happens sometimes. This has more of a curly type of formula and I like that. You guys know I like curlies in general but I think for a pastel and a neon and a combination of the two this works fantastic. I think it was a really good approach to a color like this. I know some people don't like the formula on this. I don't know why, but I do. You can get this opaque between two and three coats. At this point, my nails are quite long, so I believe this is probably going to be a three coater on me at the moment. The next one is another discontinued polish. I'm sorry, but I promise you're probably not going to want to track this one down. It's not really... I don't know, it has a really horrible formula. This is In Your LMLN from Sinful Colors. This was a part of the Pastel Neon Mattes collection that released uh, at the end of summer of 2018, I think. This is like a bleach neon pastel creamsicle orange. I love orange, I love creamsicle oranges, I love pastels, and I love neons, and it, all of that is in this bottle. But the formula is horrible, okay? You need at least four coats. Having said that though, when I wear it, it makes me feel amazing. I, I just, I don't know what to say for myself at this point. I love this so much. I just wish the formula was better. If you're looking for a color like this, but you don't want to hunt this one down and you're not really happy to hear that it has a really bad formula, I highly recommend Color Club's Schoolyard Crush. It is not available on their official website, but you can find it on the internet with ease. It's a fantastic alternative. It's the closest that I've ever gotten to duping this one. Very rarely have I ever come across a yellow that does not make me feel good when I wear it. Yellow is a color that I look at and it makes me feel 
feel really happy, really relaxed, and also rejuvenated and energized. It makes me feel all of the positive things. Um, my favorite though, I talk about this one a lot because it's readily available. Uh, this is a mom's award from Sally Hansen's Complete Salon Manicure line. It's a fantastic yellow. It's not a bold yellow. It's not your typical pastel yellow. It kind of has a neutral tone to it. It makes it really wearable. This is one that I've received compliments on from people who say they don't even like yellow. And I'm thinking in my mind, but you do, you do. You do like yellow because you just complimented my yellow polish. But fantastic, you guys. It's a really good one. If you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. I know that these polishes from this particular line from Sally Hansen are on the pricier side. But I kind of feel like this one is worth it. It's, it's hard to find a good yellow, but I really do think that this one is worth it. We all know how I feel about Crellies with chunky glitters in them. So instead of talking about 50 different Crellies, I decided to pull out one. And I feel like when it comes down to it, this is probably my favorite Crelly. I mean, when it really, really comes down to it, if I had to choose, this is probably my favorite. I mean, I know this is not what this video is about, but... Confession time. I think this is probably my favorite. This is Beach Place from Noodles Nail Polish. This was re-released in the summer of 2018. Uh, I had actually seen this before then. I saw it in D-Stashes. I saw it um, in swatch photos on Instagram, but I could never get my hands on it and it disappointed me so much because I felt like this was just me. Like this represented me so well. Bright colors, bright, happy neon colors. And I knew I was going to love it, but I just couldn't get my hands on it until she re-released it. So I was really excited to see that. It's a white curly base filled with a variety of neon colored glitters. Some of them are smaller, other ones are larger. But for the most part, a lot of these are like the medium sized glitters. I love this one so much. I hope that she brings it back because I love this so much. I decided to share with someone who didn't have it. So I don't have a backup myself, but... Fingers crossed she brings it back because this is beautiful. The last one that I have to share with you is Voila from Different Dimensions. This has been on my wish list probably upwards of a year and a half, but I just picked it up about six weeks ago. This has a kind of periwinkle blue base and it's filled with Aurora Shimmer. And the formula on this is thin, but for good reason for that Aurora Shimmer, and you actually see it on the nail. I have to build this up to full opacity in three coats. You might need more, you might need less, but it is worth every single coat. You see the shift on your nail, and it looks so, so amazing. I knew I was buying a polish that had the Aurora Shimmer in it, but I didn't think it was gonna go like this. And I am so happy I finally picked it up. Kind of regret not getting it sooner, but when I wear a periwinkle in general, but especially this one, it makes me feel so good. That is it for me. Let me know what polishes make you feel good. I would love to check them out. Maybe there are some out there that I haven't heard of, or maybe some in my collection that I forgot to share with you guys. So let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.